uh, just a couple of hours. By 9, 10 o'clock, the rain should shut down. It's very light out there right now, and then we should see some partial clearing this afternoon, which is good news. We turn our attention to Debbie. Uh, we've issued a first alert for Friday into Saturday morning. Tropical downpours, there could be Friday. There's going to be an area of rain in the northeast that's going to get excessive, but we're hoping that it stays to the north of Connecticut. That's the latest trend, and it books out of here. By Saturday, mid to late morning, we could actually see some partial sunshine. Outdoor activities, and again, poor drainage flooding is on the table. We'll certainly keep you posted. It's Wednesday. We're talking about a storm system for Friday into Saturday, so give us a little lead time. Very little in the way of rain out there right now. We do have some scattered showers up by Jeff and Staffordville and Tolland and uh, Putnam, Brooklyn, and along the shoreline, New London. We're dealing with some scattered showers as well, but this is all going to be moving out within the next three to four hours, and then we're going to be left with a pretty good day today with partial sunshine. Visibility, not horrendous. Hartford, you went from 7 to 10 just within the past 20 minutes, so that's some good news. All right, let's trop, uh, track Tropical Storm Debbie. 45 mile an hour winds, so it has gained a little bit of strength, and it will continue to do so as it moves in as a tropical storm into South Carolina. You can see all the rain with this storm system just pummeling Florida and Georgia, the coastline of Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina. Let's take a look at the track of the storm system. Uh, Thursday, by very early in the morning at 2 a.m., it's approaching, you know, South Carolina. It's exiting South Carolina. It's moving into North Carolina. And then Friday by 2 a.m., look, it starts to pick up some steam and some speed. And then notice the speeds, 35 miles an hour. And then by Saturday, 2 a.m., it's all the way up into Nova Scotia. So we're still going to be dealing with some scattered showers Saturday morning. But look at the line is now shifted to the north and west of Connecticut. We're not even in the cone of uncertainty. So that bodes well for our Saturday. All right. Temperatures out there right now in the upper 50s and low 60s. Our 24-hour change is incredible. We're down and the dew points are down as well into the upper upper 50s and low 60s. So let's take a look at the comfort index. It's muggy, but it's not as bad as it was yesterday with those dew points in the 70s. And the dew point trend does go back up with that tropical moisture, but then it drops for Saturday, for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Wind speeds, it is a bit breezy out there this morning, 8 to 14 miles an hour. There goes the rain. The heaviest is out of here to the north and to the south and east of Connecticut, and we should be looking at a pretty good day. Temperatures today, well, it's a little touch of autumn, Rob. As we take a look at 72 to 74 degrees, that's some remarkable. 78 tomorrow with some scattered showers. They'll be isolated in nature. And then, of course, we're watching the remnants of Debbie Friday into Saturday morning.